Hi, I'm Brian with HVAC School, HVACRschool.com, and the HVAC School Podcast. I'm making this video in conjunction with TrueTechTools.com, and I'll show you how to use the Testo 770-3 that I have right here to measure inrush amps. This 770-3 has that inrush capability, as do many high-quality meters. I've already got the disconnect out on the system, and I've tested to make sure that the power was off and I've disconnected the wires coming off of a hard start kit. So not only am I gonna show you how to use this meter to measure inrush amps, I'm also gonna simultaneously show you inrush amps with a hard start kit disconnected and then with a hard start kit connected. And then I'll explain it just real quickly. So I'm gonna take these wires and I'm just gonna put them up out of the way, make sure that they stay completely disconnected. I'm gonna take the meter, I'm going to put it on amps, and then I'm going to hit the inrush button. You can see that it has inrush displayed there. And so now we're ready to check our inrush amps. And I'm gonna check this on the compressor only. All right, so we've got the disconnect pushed in. All right, so you can see our inrush amps are 132.2. So all I did is hit the inrush button, came back, and now my inrush reading was 132.2. So now I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off, turn it back on, and now it's reset again and we're ready to test inrush again. So our run amps are 20.6 uh, and our inrush was obviously quite a bit higher. So now I'm gonna connect the hard start kit and show what we've got with the hard start kit connected as far as inrush amps goes. So first off, I'm gonna pull the disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on amps and hit the inrush button. So that way we're prepared to check inrush amps again. This time we have the hard start kit connected, so we're gonna see what we get. You can see that our inrush amps did drop. So what happened here? So now we saw that our inrush amps dropped. Well, what does a hard start kit do? A hard start kit, it does exactly what it says it does. It hard starts, it helps it start when it's in locked rotor. And it does it in a very fast, forceful way. So it gets that compressor started quickly because when a compressor or any motor is sitting there running slowly or sitting in a locked condition, it causes a lot of heat to be developed. The, the windings act as a resistor instead of an inductor the way that they're supposed to. They're creating heat instead of magnetism. So we want to get that motor spinning as quickly as possible. So the, uh, the false idea is that somehow a hard start kit actually reduces that that initial amperage. It actually doesn't. It just greatly shortens the amount of time that that initial lock rotor amperage is drawn. So much so that this meter and most meters uh, don't catch it. So it's, it shows a drop in the inrush amps when in fact the inrush amps don't drop per se. It just they're greatly greatly shortened uh, in the time that it's running on lock rotor amps and that's why you show that decrease. However, it is a very very nice tool to be able to know whether or not a hard start kit is running. So inrush amps are a great tool if you want to find out is your hard start kit working and we just proved that it is because if I connected a hard start kit and I did not see a drop in inrush amps then I would know that it wasn't doing anything when I connect one and because now I know this, that's how this meter functions when I connect it and it does drop I know that the hard start kit is actually functioning it's changing the speed at which it goes from locked to fully rotating so that's all there is to know about that inrush amps on the Testo 770-3 I'm Brian Orr with HVAC School. To get the 770-3 or any Testo products, you can go to truetechtools.com, use the offer code GETSCHOOLED for a great discount. Thanks for watching.